Libra, shout out to you guys. So let's get into this reading and see what's the vibe, see what spirit has to be at this time. I see you guys much love and light. I hope you guys are doing well. Tower responsibly, take what resonates, leave what does not on this table. This is a general reading, baby. So let's see what's going on. Uh, Libra, what the overall energy is. Kind of this message here for you today at this time. Spirit, what's the overall energy for Libra here? Addicted to you. So there could be... I'm trying to wait for the uh, whoever that is on a motorcycle to go somewhere. Also, that could be significant to someone here. A motorcycle, okay? Tower responsibly. There's also... Uh, that's like the devil card. Devil energy. Capricorn energy could be significant as well. Um, there's also like... An energy of maybe someone just kind of like being in their shadow side, their dark side in a way. Um, 15 could be significant to you or 6. But let's see what the message is. Let's see who's addicted to you, baby. <laughs> Libra, let's see what's going on. Let's see. Uh, for some, maybe we'll, why this Capricorn's all up in your energy. Um, your birthday could be the 15th. It's almost Libra season, baby. Shout out to the Libras, though. Look at the spirit honking horn. <laughs> all right, let's see. Spirit, who's addicted to Libra? What's going on? We have the Eight of Swords. So, definitely up in their head, okay? Thinking, thinking, thinking. Thinking about you, Libra. Let's see. Someone could think about you about eight times a day. Just this. Big fucking Libra energy, baby. So let's see. Uh, thinking about you, Libra. What's the message here, Spirit? Who's addicted to Libra? What's going on? We have the Queen of Cups coming out. So this could be a Cancer energy. They could also just be addicted to you because of your energy. Okay? Very loving, very caring, very empathetic. You give your heart. You show your heart. Um... That's attractive, okay? Being loving is attractive. So let's see. Who's addicted to Libra? We have the Six of Swords. So there's very there's something very significant about you guys. Maybe like maybe someone's addicted to you based off of like your heart and maybe the way that you speak to them. Also, for someone, you could just like make someone feel extremely calm, okay? Um, maybe there's a significance of also like calming someone's dark side. Okay. Maybe that, that's why they could feel like they're addicted to you in a way. There's something significant about someone wearing like fedora hats. Okay. Very specific. And then we have the Empress in reverse. So for some of you here, it's like this person could be like addicted to your energy, addicted to your love, addicted to your heart. There's also something significant about uh, maybe someone is like addicted to your smile. Maybe you have like an amazing smile. This is also someone here that I feel that um, maybe they talk about you to other masculines, okay? If this masculine. But let's see. Because he out there like, you, yeah, yo, no one. Let's see. For someone, you can have someone. Uh, let's see first. Also, it's kind of like maybe someone that is kind of toxic could be addicted to you. But let's see. Spirit, what's this? Who's addicted to Libra? What's the vibes? They're addicted to you because you have self-worth. They're addicted to you because you have dignity. Someone could simply be kind of addicted to you because maybe you guys have are getting justice in some type of way. Okay. Um, also, they could be addicted to your humble nature, your respectful nature, uh, the fact that you're modest. Also, maybe you're like really hardworking, but very humble. Um, also, there's some significance to like you guys being a hard worker. Like someone is definitely uh, liking that. Uh, for my feminines, it's like, you're giving off this this rich bitch vibes, okay? As far as just like your energy itself, okay? Um, there's also like, ooh, your skin, ooh, your 
uh, the energy that you're like radiating. Ooh, you're so stylish and such a great dresser. Also, someone could be addicted to the fact that maybe someone was like trying to be shady, but maybe you guys are like really good at blocking out the shade and then also still looking very, very good. And then again, it's like in this card, it's more showing of the skin, okay? So I feel like for my girlies, okay? Cause this is also, right? The rich bitch vibes card. It's like chocolates, vanilla lattes. Is vanilla lattes a thing? <coughs> Put it in the comments, but either or for my girlies, okay? This is the vibe that you guys are giving, you're bringing. They're addicted to that Libra. Okay, my Libra feminines. I know y'all. Oh, they said you got that vibe. Every time, every time uh that song they play that song, somebody is really feeling your vibe, baby. Also, you guys have like uh there could be something significant for some of you about the jewelry that you wear, the pieces that you choose. There's also this like less is more type of thing. Um, and again, it's something so significant about that skin, baby. And I ain't talking about no filters, baby. I'm talking about that skin. I ain't talking about no, um, and then there's also something, <laughs> I see that. There's also something significant about your glow, okay? Um, and then again, some of you guys, again, there's a lot of like, ew. For some of you, you could have a big bag, a bunch, like, you know, it's like within and also without, okay? As far as the uh, abundant energy. There's also this star-like quality, they're saying for some. There's also like your lips, your skin. <laughs> I'm addicted to your lips. I'm addicted to your skin. All right, let's see. Also, someone could just be addicted to how powerful you are, how indestructible. They can't destroy you, baby. You're so like, uh, also for someone, they're addicted to your, to your empathy. They're addicted to your, uh, Queen of Cups vibes, okay? You're, you're a sweetheart. They're addicted to you because you're so sweet. Also, there's this energy of like, I'm toxic, but they're sweet. And that's what's making me addicted to them. <sighs> it's something significant about you guys like being really, really, really healing, okay? All right, let's see. Maxine could be significant. Charlie could be significant. Uh, for my feminines. Also, let's see. Give me one for I'm addicted to you. The star, see? Star-like quality. Uh, that healing energy. That them healing vibes that you guys have. Um, for some, it's again, you know your worth. You got dignity. And for for some, it's like, you kind of are like, mm. <laughs> look at how like, she's like having that struggling, struggling thing. It's like, mm, I'm the, I'm the star. I have this abundant energy, but mm. also for, for some of you, maybe it's kind of like you, maybe people become addicted to you a lot. Toxic people that is okay. Toxic people. Are addicted. Let me see. Spirit, why is toxic people addicted to their energy? Page of Wands. It could have a lot to do with uh maybe the way that you communicate. And again, the Page of Wands is just another card um in certain instances, which would be this one that represents energy uh pages are like new so let's say that energy you have that energy of maybe making people feel young making them feel brand new even these toxic uh energies it's like they there's something so like they 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 smile 
they also could like not know what to say maybe you kind of like take people's breath away or you they don't they don't know what to say because it's like how my words is getting all jumbled up you also maybe you kind of just like shake up toxic energy but it could just be because you have that the opposite energy okay so for some it could kind of just be like an opposite to track type of thing okay for some but definitely addicted um also let's see for some it could just be how you guys look like love you smell like love you also don't have a problem with like extending love showing your heart showing how big it is um let's see so why why is this person now in the eight of swords definitely because of you um three of wands for someone it could be because maybe you guys are like Ooh, you could have walked away for some. So if you did walk away from a Capricorn, I really... Oh, if you walked away from a Capricorn, they're really, like, triggered here. Um, That's for sure. Tower responsibly, this is a general reading, okay? Um, Let's see. Clarify the Queen of Cups. the tower they also think that's sexy so it's like the toxic energy is like damn look at her she's so sexy and so empathetic and sweet and has such a big heart it's like gimme gimme i'm addicted to this energy i don't know why i'm addicted see and again with the abundance like with the uh rich bitch energy and uh, again this is for my feminines, okay? Masculines. If you're not in the LGBTQ+, in a feminine masculine, get off this reading. Go watch another reading. I might I might uh, drop another reading for you guys. I got a bunch of readings in the cut, you know? But yeah, this one is for my... This is for my feminines, okay? With the abundant energy, with the healing vibes, okay? Uh, someone that was dealing with a Capricorn that's now addicted to their ass. Um, uh, and uh, again, this, okay, if you were dealing with a Capricorn, because this is getting, like, so specific to a Capricorn, this Capricorn, um, maybe you've known them for, like, six years, or for some, it could be 15, um, but there is, like, if they had options, like, if this Capricorn had options, you're the star, baby. Um, also, honestly, if it just resonates as like a toxic energy, you're a star. So they're currently addicted to you. They're currently uh, like just acknowledging how sexy or maybe thinking about that. Like, damn, they're so sexy. Also, there is some type of like revelation here for someone. And give me one for the Empress. self-indulgence so maybe you guys are like again very much so into uh self-worth um healing doing shadow work appreciating yourself loving on yourself um for some of you guys here there's some significance again to y'all lips they be going crazy on y'all lips for me y'all got some good lips um also you guys are pre it's, it's like the self-appreciation it's like talk again look at even how the card is they're making me look at it now it's like look at how it's like all dark and then she's just sitting there like the light in in the darkness <laughs> so it's like you're like a light in the darkness all right so they're addicted to you they're addicted to your energy for some you could just have a lot of like immature energies that maybe want to work with you toxic energies that want to work with you that want to uh maybe kind of just be like they want to talk to you they want to uh also maybe you again you just kind of like bring the calmness you bring the energy look i'm coming trust so now it's like this person is like i'm coming you could trust that um 
also for some i'm not even gonna lie there could be like a capricorn energy that possibly kind of like wants to like maybe get more in their light side maybe you guys are kind of like uh manifesting this person to be more in their light side or it's like it's like they could all right let me see I just dream and wish for everything so then there's this energy about like someone could actually be like having like sexual dreams of you um also someone could actually be having some type of dreams where maybe they're getting some type of spiritual downloads um in regards to uh how loving how empathetic how sweet you are um for some maybe who you are to them okay also it's like someone is getting straight divine communication in regards to you. Also, they're addicted to you. They just want you all the time. There's also this energy of like, maybe your energy kind of like pushes others to not be so grounded, okay? They said they like you. They like your energy. They want to date. They want to date. Also, let's see. They just keep saying, you make me feel so young. <laughs> also, oh, for some, be careful of them like trying to feed off your energy. Healthy choices. So, again, there's also something about you guys making healthy choices in love and in life. And, again, just all this self-love, self-care, being happier is like, damn. I need that energy in my life. Also, for some, it could just be like, damn, with them, it's like the healthy choice. But again, you guys are ascending and healing and being lighthearted. And maybe for some, it's like you're just... <laughs> They're like... They could feel bad, though. Let's see. Also, for, I'm telling you, for some, it's like more so like, damn, I just dream and wish for everything. My eyes leave so loving and caring. I can see the love in their eyes. I can, I can smell the love. Also, let's see. Someone's like, wait. <laughs> see, they don't be want. They said, wait. I'm ready. So, someone, like, may come towards you guys in the near future and feel like they're ready. Um, they're ready to communicate. They're ready to um, maybe kind of, like, start over again. Also, 170 could be significant to someone. Someone could be born in 71, okay? Your birthday could be uh, September 27th, October 1st. Your birthday could be October 7th, okay? There's also some significance to someone. This could be a Capricorn. I'm telling you, uh, that energy is heavy. That um, maybe is born in January 1970. Or maybe maybe you're cross-watching over here. I don't know. Also, shout out to the uh, Capricorn. Shout out to Brayson, though. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Oh, shout out to Bryson and uh, Issa. Those are my favorite Capricorns that I know they Capricorns. But either way, oh, wait. Also, B could be significant. I, T, and R. Oh, I see how you did that there, Spirit. Um, so, yeah. So, for someone, this could literally be a Capricorn that's born in uh, January of 1970. Also... Look, I'm a very jealous person. Also, there could also be a uh, Taurus and what's the other earth sign? <coughs> I can't even remember it. Virgo, okay? So, here we go again with the heavy uh, earth sign energy like that was coming out last week a little bit for some of y'all. So, maybe this there could be someone that, that's all up in their head feeling really jealous also for some of you there is that energy of like i'm jealous of your 
I'm jealous of your energy. I'm jealous of your abundance. I'm jealous that you keep a positive mindset. I'm I'm jealous that you keep manifesting exactly what you want. So yeah, for some, it's kind of like, maybe be a little bit careful. This person could be in your energy thinking of you, but it also could be like, because you guys are just like so positive. And again, it's like having this radiant energy and knowing your worth and uh for some maybe you actually like release these earth signs and it's like damn they were they were so toxic but they're still so addicted to you and so jealous because you know your worth also in the past uh for someone here you could have been dealing with a very jealous um earth sign here that maybe you guys actually like kind of manifested your your way away from okay for someone here, it's like you guys have so much gratitude, okay? It, it's kind of making me feel like y'all know my vibes and my energy as, as far as like just being extremely happy that it's a brand new day, right? Y'all know how I am. So maybe for some, it could be that. But also the, now that I'm looking at, you know, just looking at the board and how the cards are, um definitely earth sign energy for sure with all these greens also there is some significance to the way you guys maybe like make people look at things um because now i'm channeling i see trees of green y'all know that song so that's how some of you guys kind of like put that energy in and maybe someone just again they just look at you in a way of like being so positive and loving yourself and maybe you just kind of could be like an inspiration they can't get you uh off their mind there's also this energy of like i just dream and wish for everything uh give me your heart give me your sex this could be a cancer energy for someone as well okay also for some you could definitely have someone that's like lying awake thinking about the future with you Okay, and then someone is like having these dreams of you uh, that's like divine. Also, I'm telling you, it's these arrogant ass fuck masculine energies here. These toxic energies that just love you. That's just addicted to you. So for some of you here, you probably be like, uh, why, why do I keep attracting toxic or whatever? They love you. <laughs> They love your energy. Also, for some, I'm telling you, it's that energy of kind of like uh, sh try to show off. Uh, for someone, there could be some significance to like two goofies. E like, again, they could have been like ego tripping on you. It's like the toxic energy in them uh, makes them want to ego trip on you. And it makes them want to kind of like uh, be toxic. Well, they are toxic, right? But it's like, it makes them want to, like, ego trip on you. It's it's just your energy. That shit is probably so fucking triggering, okay? And then it's like, then they'll come back in the future like, I'm ready. I'm ready for, I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to uh, have a clean slate with you. I'm ready to make healthy choices over somebody. Somebody gonna come towards you and be like, I'm ready to make healthy choices. I went the wrong way. I went down the dead end. <laughs> Look, and again with the uh the toxic energy. Also, for some, I really see it, and I can't uh not say it. How they could actually just try to like make you feel maybe how they feel. You know, it's like they have the toxic energy, but you have the the abundant, positive vibes, the good energy, the clear skin, the beautiful smile uh regardless uh you know ooh, look at them they're so they're making healthy choices and then it's like then they get with other people or in front of someone for someone specifically and then it's like let me show off now because let me ego trip on them now that's that type of shit but it's like for some, oh, for some, maybe that's why the divine is, is in their dreams, kind of like showing them for someone here. Um, again, and again, they're just addicted to your healing energy. So, Spirit, what do you have to say about that? For them to just be addicted to their healing energy, keys on a ring. For some, maybe the divine is like, uh, it's like they, they could want to like, 
have other options. For some, they might want the keys. For some, it's like they want to string you along. For some, they want a one night stand. But, and then for uh, some of you guys, spirit is like, don't let them be an option to you. They're not an option. Also, you guys are like, maybe you guys are very loving, very giving, okay? You can even have someone that's like really toxic that's falling in love with you for some here currently. Spirit, what's the showing off? Yeah, also for some, it's like they could be trying to show off, but maybe you're like really unbothered. Also, remain unbothered. Pop your shit because the fact. Also, for some of you here, just kind of like X them out. Look, spreads like delete them out your phone, X them out. You could have done that. But honestly, currently, maybe this masculine is just feeling like a clown. Maybe that you're not allowing them to string you along. Um, you didn't. Um, there's also where for someone, it's like maybe your confidence could have really been like choking someone in a way. Um, also, it's giving joke of vibes if you ask me now. So, for someone, I don't know, Libra, but just know that for my feminines, and again, I'm gonna say it again if you do not pee sitting down or standing up, but you gotta you got your hand on your hip or something, this is not your reading at this time, and it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, masculines, it's okay. Go to another reading. Confirmation on that. So, like I said, for some of you here, they're just currently feeling this way, so they're in your energy, especially uh, Capricorn. But Taurus and Virgo could also be very significant here. But, I mean, in this reading, Capricorn kind of got it, okay? So, if you were dealing with one, a Cappy, a Cappy, a uh, Cappy, then yeah. They're, they're really in that shit. Oh, also, they may reach out to you, call you. Um, they might want to give you some type of clarity. They might want to tell you the truth about something. Also, mm, let's see. All right, Spur, what you got to say? What is, what is this uh, earth sign's true intentions when it comes to them in a way? What are their true intentions? Light. I'm telling you, it's your light, baby. But what do they want it? They want it? <laughs> it's starting to make me feel a little creeped out in a way. They want your light. Oh, nah. So you can't have my light. Also, that's the thing, y'all. Um, when you have that light, sometimes they just want your light. That They don't want nothing else. They just want your light. They want, they want your light, and then they want an ego trip. They want to show off. Um, be unbothered, but that's what they want. Um, also, they want some sex. You make them want to do bad things. They could also be too afraid to talk to you. They also imagine you naked, and then it's like, do you even care? <laughs> nah, this got to be funny. They said they in so much pain. Do you even care? Do you even care about what? It depends on the situation. But again, Tara responsibly. Take what resonates. Leave what does not on this table. Okay? If you would like to book a person, my email is in the description box. Y'all already know the vibes. Thank you guys for joining me. All right. That's a new also, there's some significance. All right. It actually stopped. And then he said something. But it started again. All right, let me just see. Give me one for feeling like a clown. See, I just want you all the time, okay? And then there's this dreaming thing. Someone's dream, someone, I don't know, spirit is just like making someone dream of you constantly, constantly, okay? But this is what's going on now, and yeah, they're addicted to you. They just want you all the time and 
maybe they're just like heavily thinking of you now but also be aware of like uh someone showing off in a way but again their intentions what they really want is your light or just you itself if you know if you are the light but it could be you know for some it's going to be that and for others it's going to be the other one so again time responsibly take what resonates leave what does not on this table this is a general reading i see you guys much love and light and i'll see you in the next one.